Hi, it's Matt with Trout Soup. Well, that's not what you really wanted. You really wanted. You really wanted. Good morning. It's 4 a.m. We're looking at our Bear Lake Corridor Trails map. And we are going in the east entrance. We're going to park at the Bear Lake parking lot. This is the uppermost lot, usually fills up by about 8.30 in the morning, so you gotta get there early. We're gonna hike 3.4 miles to the lock and target Colorado River cutthroat trout. Then we're gonna hike an additional three miles over here to Lake Hayaha and target Yellowstone cutthroat trout. There are only two lakes in Rocky Mountain National Park that hold Yellowstone cuts, and this is one of them. There's no trail around this lake and it's extremely rough going, so I don't recommend doing that one by yourself. Then we're gonna go 1.1 miles down to Dream Lake and finish our day with greenback cutthroat trout and then hike one mile back down this way so we will have made this entire loop right here on the corridor back to Bear Lake. The goal here today is get the cutthroat slam in Rocky Mountain National Park, three different species of cuts. Take just enough. Morning, girls. It gets warm in a hurry on these trails. We've got gorgeous scenery here. It's beautiful. Crisp morning air. You guys should make sure you get out of bed. Come fishing. Big male and a female paired up right by the edge of the bush. The, I'm counting about a dozen cutthroats here and they are spawning. So we're going to leave these fish alone and not fish over them, which is important. But all the way up into those bushes. Did the Republicans put you up to it? The answer may is no, no one put me up to it. Well then, how did you get the idea of starting it? We've got a cutthroat on. After about eight more misses. Colorado River.
got another one on, but he, this guy's a lot smaller than the other one. And he took the new flavor of fly, which is pretty cool. Colorado River cutthroat. Yeah. So we're heading down the trail now. We just spent uh, about two hours at the lock or lock vale. Uh, hooked probably maybe dozen cutthroat. Uh, got five to the net. Still having trouble with the voice commands on these GoPro. I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> But it was a lot of fun. All Colorado River cutthroats. So our next stop is Lake Hayaha, and we're gonna go try to catch some Yellowstone cutthroats. Stay tuned. What are your names? Danny, Brett, I'm also Danny. These guys were out fly fishing on the Big T just yesterday, and we came back down that trail from Lock Vale. We're gonna head over to Lake Hayaha get some Yellowstones. But shout out to my new buds here from New York. College grads, shout out New York. Way to go, guys. Good on you college graduates from New York. And thanks for coming out and visiting Rocky Mountain National Park and doing some fly fishing. About halfway to Lake Hayaha. I was waiting in, wet waiting. The lake at Log Vale, water temperature was probably about 42 degrees and it got pretty windy. It got a little chilly. And then now in the valley with no wind, it feels like it's about 85 degrees, so layers take your layers well we've stumbled along this high mountain pond that's what this is oh yeah oh yeah Hey, look at that, first cast. Little brookie. Have a nice day. Get our hands wet on the snow. Black gnat. Yes. Let's just slide him down. Uh oh. Go on, buddy. trails the whole way. Two bridges crossing the stream there. Ooh. Hmm. Which way? It's the reason why Lake Hayaha means rock lake in Hawaiian. Yeah, this is the trail. Or I've gone off of it. Here's a good vantage point. I'm gonna be looking at these shallow shelves, looking for any fish, rises, circles, color change out there, going around this way. I'm probably gonna, I'm stubborn, so I'm gonna go all the way around, most likely. We're about seven feet up on this rock above the lake, and you can see down all the way into the bottom. It's gin clear. For a little lunch here at Lake Hayaha, here's my view. Just slid down that snowbank. And what's promising too is that I just saw a couple of rises, probably 50 yards out. Uh, but I saw fish circling and rising out there. So we've located some fish. It's time to eat. If you look out here in the lake, you see all the circles. We got rises. Casting right along this color change here. Right here where the brown meets the lighter brown. 
lighter brown meets the lighter green, the lighter green meets the blue, all those color changes we're casting right along shore. Probably about, it's probably about seven feet, maybe total, eight feet. Taking the occasional cast out in the darker blue. That's where the fish are cruising. Finally, we got our Yellowstone cutthroat. Oh, and it's a beauty. We got our second Yellowstone cutthroat. Oh, come on. Oh, these are beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. There he goes. Here's the red slashes. And we got our third one. I have to say these fish are fun. Very feisty. Willing to take a pretty decent size a mini leech. Catching them on a black, purple, and red mini leech. This one's got some different colors to them. Let's see. More of a um, golden steel color to these fish. Just a steely metallic color. Oh, we got a swipe at it. He swiped at it twice. Like he doesn't know what it is. And I didn't bring any tippet today. I didn't bring any spare tippet at all. This caddis hatch, pretty good, pretty good number of caddis are hatching right now. And coming onto the water, uh, they're almost a reddish brown literally like brown mixed with red not not a rust color oh there you go there's a big hit boy did he nail that small fish this time still yellowstone cutthroat in the net. It's uh, about 3.15. The afternoon probably be a good time to start heading to Dream Lake. See if we can get the greenbacks in there are difficult to catch. They're very heavily pressured. And this is so much fun. Figuring these fish out is difficult. I was stalking them very, very carefully, very cautiously, very quietly, and using dries and waiting. But as soon as my line hit anywhere within four feet of them, that was it. They were gone. Oh, we just had a swipe. You couldn't see it. There's multiple caddis hatches. One just landed on my arm that's 
dark black. All about the same, about the same length. Maybe a size 16. I'm pretty much stripping this immediately, so it's right under the surface. Um, the beads on most of my fly, almost all of my flies, in fact, except for very few, um, are all brass. I don't like the weight of tungsten too much. It's too heavy. It doesn't give it a natural swimming motion in the water. I don't think. It's just my opinion. All right. I believe that makes... I think that makes six, doesn't it? Five or six. Okay, here's your after report on this lake. Uh, I saw cruisers going around after I basically circumvented the entire uh, west and north side of the lake, which is treacherous. I mean, it was that's the most brutal uh, hiking that I've had to do in a long, long time. I think we caught maybe five. I can't remember. Uh, got so many hits and strikes. It was just so much fun with those Yellowstone cutthroats. They really attack a streamer. Ironically, I was stalking them and they were cruising, uh, but I couldn't get them to. I couldn't entice them to a dry fly. So, anyhow, uh, we're gonna head on down to Dream Lake. Let's go. Greenback cutthroats. Let's go. All right. It's hard to leave all these rising fish. So we're doing, oh, that was a nice one too. Just came and swiped at it. And it makes a fiery ring. There's a little baby. Is it right below me there? There we go. Oh yeah. We're hooked up. Boy, do they attack it hard. These fish are probably the last couple I've caught are probably only about 10 inches long, but boy, are they feisty. Oop, it's almost 345 now. We have still haven't left. There's so much action here. Give this a few more casts. If we catch a fish, great. If not, we're going to make our way to that outlet area. Hopefully I won't stop and fish there. Otherwise I might get out until dark. Got one on the leech as we're figuring out how to get him out of here. I guess we're gonna have to go down here. Oh my god. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can net this guy. He's got some nice colors on him. It's really dark. Barbs are all pinched down. Beautiful fish. Stone cutthroat. Please don't fish over spawning fish or their reds. Of the 156 lakes found in Rocky Mountain National Park, only 48 of them have naturally reproducing sustainable populations of trout. Okay, now we're finally on our way back to Dream Lake, and then I visited uh, kind of close to the outlet. A couple of big fish. I had a real, real nice one on. But uh, of course he got away. He's the big one that got away. And then I made a mistake and went off the trail. And uh, 
nearly went into a uh, big deep hole in the snow. I have no idea how far down it went, but I caught myself luckily, but I do have some, yeah, a little bit of cuts on my, going all the way up my ankle. That's part of the uh, process out here. Don't go off the trail. That's a lesson. We're on our way to Dream. One more lake to go. These are the kinds of structures here that they build for the walking trails. One last pit stop before we go to Dream Lake. I'm gonna show you the view. That's our view. Colorado Rockies. Views in Rocky Mountain National Park, even on the trails, are phenomenal. Here we are, Dream Lake, final destination. Greenback cutthroat trout, already seen quite a few risers and then a couple of cruisers right along the edge here. So I just got in the water and I'll make my way to where the shelf is. We got our greenback, just gotta get him to the net now. Dry fly action. Oh. Okay, we know they're going after it though. Got our green back on again. Yes. Native greenback cutthroat trout. It's probably about, based on my net, being 17, he's 14 or so, maybe a little bit more. This is our state fish. Caught out a greenback cutthroat trout. Greenback cutthroat out of Dream Lake. And then we ran into our first Trout Soup subscriber, Bernard. He was struggling on the day and was having some difficulties, so I was happy to oblige him with one of my favorite fly patterns. Remember how I said the first cast was so important? Great catch, Bernard. Thanks to your fly. That has got to be. Oh. and I was always well this is our uh, end of the day we had a full day here Rocky Mountain National Park and we're down to the parking lot I gave Bernard a ride back here and Bernard why don't you tell us about your experience at Dream Lake today well first of all I'm glad I ran into you and uh, you let me um, use what is that a black Adams kind of fly. It's a uh, what's a. It's basically a black gnat that's tied in a, a mayfly style. Yeah. So. And yeah. I mean, you gave me a couple pointers. First cast. Uh. Well, those pointers were basically your beliefs. So, for example, have confidence in yourself. And right. I can't remember what the other one was. <laughs> <laughs> um, it wasn't that important because you did all the work. So geez. that was good work. I mean, I, I, I had such a difficult time all day really getting these uh, cutthroat trout, but I mean, that one felt so good. Yeah. Um, solid hook set. Yeah. But either way, I mean, that was such a great experience. I mean. Awesome. I, I mean, so far, I mean, I, I started fly fishing seven months ago. So far, I've only caught three cutthroat trout, and each one is just so much more beautiful than the last. And, 
I really hope this doesn't get old, man. Oh, it won't. Oh, man. I think I've caught my first cutthroat somewhere around... Hmm. Probably would have been the early 80s. Wow. Yeah. So, and I still love it. It's my favorite. Yeah. Well, we're going to sign out from Trout Soup. And, and uh, Bernard, thank you for basically your commentary. And yeah, it was good to meet you. Great we'll to be, meet you. We're, we're going to be fishing together again soon. Oh, for sure. Thanks, buddy. Yep.